Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are all welcome to this very, very important occasion. We are here today to dedicate 13 books and also to mark the golden jubilee of a distinguished gentleman. This gentleman we are talking about today is dedicating 13 books at one stretch. This event coincides with this gentleman's 50th anniversary. So these are two very important events put together in one big pot. So you are here not just to appreciate the book dedication, but also to enjoy, cherish, and celebrate along with this gentleman who has just clocked 50. We hear these days, when you clock 50 in Nigeria, they say life begins at 50. So life is about to begin for this gentleman. And you might be wondering, who is this distinguished gentleman? He is no other person than Dr. Victor Falak. He has written 13 books. And just to keep us on track or bring us up to speed, one of the books is titled 10 Things God Cannot Do For You. The other one is titled You Need People to Succeed. Another book is titled What Grace Is This? Another one is titled Because of His Mercy. If you check on the list, you will see that another title is Grace, Purpose, and Pursuit. Another one is The Law and How the Law Failed. Ladies and gentlemen, the number of these books are increasing. The other one is 13 Reasons Why You Should Not Be Angry with God. Sincerely speaking, this event is cardinal, it is unique. It is smart, it is timely in the lives of people in this state. If you are opportune to lay your hands on, on any of these books, please do so. You will never regret that opportunity. While we welcome people coming, I am jump starting the red carpet. In a couple of moments, we are going to talk to people one after the other. They will express themselves, how they feel about this occasion, what are their intents, and what this occasion intends to achieve. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, come along with us as we take you through this journey. It is a journey you will never, never regret. Thank you very much. Sir, so, may we know your name? You're looking very gorgeous. Where do you come from? And one word for the celebrant on this great occasion. Uh, I am Job Isaac Lingmu. Oh, hold the mic. Yes, uh, the Kacha Chairman, Taraba State Chapter. That is Kaka Cultural Association. I'm the State Chairman. And uh, why I am here this afternoon is because of the wonderful occasion that is taking place within this environment. Uh, the celebrant, Reverend Dr. Victor Falak, is a classmate of mine, age mate, and of course is an icon in the land, not only to the Kaka people, to the environment as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you that uh, seeing is believing. You can see the Mormon crowd that is within and are, are coming to grace, and not only gracing, are coming to testify the goodness of this gentleman. He is generous, he is kind, and he is lover of all. We call him an icon in the land. Thank you very much. A word or two for the celebrant before the occasion starts. Well, uh, I wish Dr. Victor Palak, the closer to our Taraba State University, I uh, will say happy birthday and congratulations for the over 10 books that he is going to unveil today. I never knew he was very hardworking. I'm very impressed and very encouraged that I come from the same area and he's doing this much job. I urge him to continue and may God bless him for the years he will live ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Bishop Sir, we are happy to have you at this event. We know you had to create time from your tight schedules to be here. Yeah. Please could you in one word or the other tell the audience who you are actually, the way you would like us to know you, and then one word for the celebrant sir. 
Uh, well, Bishop Dr. Fumlak is my name, the presiding bishop of Glory of God Church for all nations here in Jalingo. And um, I want to say that I am so excited today to be in this meeting because um, my bosom friend, my classmate, my age mate is celebrating his Golden Jubilee today, being the 50th day of his birth. Now, Dr. Falak happens to be somebody I knew right from childhood to what he is today. Um, Dr. Falak is a veteran, he's a legend, he's an icon, he's, he's, he's a, politician, a politician by excellence, he's a civil servant and a, an accomplished uh, individual, a crowd puller. You can see everybody have left whatever they're doing just to stand and honor him and honor this day. I'm so excited that I'm part of this day that makes history for us to stand and celebrate a great man like that. And one thing I've learned about life is that when you celebrate the greatness of another person, you are only daring yourself also into greatness. It's, I wouldn't want to give you any title now so that you can give us the kind of title that works for you. Okay. But very importantly, we need to know where you're coming from, how far you've taken time to get here, and your expectation at this event in so brief a time as possible. Okay, I'm Bishop Mbawe Jafen Darchang the national president of Arewa Paso Sorry for Peace. I just flew into Abuja, just flew in this afternoon. I'm based in Abuja. The road has been good. And uh, Victor has been a friend. He was my assistant pastor in Portacourt, quite okay. So I know that the, the, the situation is tight, but I just need to be around to support him and be part of the blessings of what God is doing in his life. So, so uh, what are your expectations? Well, my expectation is that people will be, they will understand the more, they will understand, they will understand grace in a more deficit way when they read these books. Because he's a guy that we've known very well and he's dipped into grace of God. So I solely believe that by the time everybody goes, grab this book and read well, they'll be able to understand the grace of God, how it works in man, in Jesus' name. Can you please tell us your names, your position, who you are, and then what is your expectation for this event? Um, I am Alejah Bakara Madama. My title is the Wakili of the Kaka people in the Kaka Nation. So I came down purposely to attend this very important uh, celebration of my brother who attended 50 years. And I, come, I came all the way from Gembu to this place to rejoice together with him. As what the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 15, says, Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. So we are not here to weep, but here to rejoice together with him because God has uplifted him. That is why we have come to rejoice together with him. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll look for you in the course of the event and we'll talk to you. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank coming. you very much. Your Lordship, sir, it's a huge pleasure to have you here today. Thank you. And uh, we might be mixing words and we might not be able to give you the right title. So you'll do us a favor to tell us your name, your proper portfolio, and what is your expectation about this event today, sir? Um, most Reverend Isaac Gokrov, and I'm the presiding bishop of the Black Church Church Worldwide, and uh, president of Commonwealth Institute of Leadership Optimization. Today, I believe that um, we are seeing example of what human life and humanity should be. In other words, we are celebrating the birthday of a young man who has come of age, 50. But we are not gathered here because he's 50. We are gathered here because of the impact of his life on people, on community, on individuals, on families. Therefore, I expect, like scripture say, that whosoever water shall be watered that today God will increase his capacity to impact our nation, to impact his home state, Araba state, his people in Gembu, the church of God to which he belongs, the Higher Grace Chapel, individual families and members of Taraba State University, to the glory of God. We are so grateful, sir. We will find time to catch you in the course of the Thank event. You. I will talk more. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Well, uh, I am Bishop Isaac Philip Taku. The presiding bishop of the Royal Priesthood Assembly, Dalingo, and also the vice chairman, Khan Taraba State. Actually, uh, this day is a very wonderful day. I came to felicitate with my brother and my friend, 
Reverend Dr. Falak for the 13 book that he has written. It's not easy. For 50 years, you have written 13 books and you're launching it at the same time. It's actually progress, not only for us, but the Kaka nation as a whole, and also Taraba State. I think we have a gem, a real gem, and we came to celebrate him. That's what brought us here. To God be the glory for all he has done in Jesus' name. Amen. Mommy, just one word to back up. Yes, I came to celebrate a man that has touched life. A man that is rare to, to see such a man. I am a part of what he has done in the lives of people. I have enjoyed his goodness, his faithfulness. There's nobody that come in contact with Dr. Victor Fala that you remain the same. That's why I have come. Thank you very much. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we are happy to have you here and we know a lot of things are happening and you are full of expectations. Can you in one minute tell us exactly how you feel about this program? Well, I feel so excited because uh, Dr. Falak is just like an elder brother and he's a pastor. And I know he has a lot in him. So we expect a lot from him and we expect a lot from his book. So we are just here to celebrate him. Thank you very much. We'll catch you in the course of the program to Thank talk you. more. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Right. You. Just stop for a photo session. 30 minutes. Sir, we're happy to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Can you do us a favor, tell us who you are, your titles, and your expectations for this program today, sir. My name is Engineer Dr. Nicholas Oliver Namesan. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Tarabasan University, and I'm representing the Vice Chancellor here in this occasion. So, what are your expectations at this well, event? Well, expectations, I know that it's going to be groovy, it's going to be fantastic uh, because we're celebrating a brilliant young man who has made his life meaningful. Uh, he has taught life and um, we are here to celebrate it. That's why I'm here. It's all right. Thank you. We'll catch you in the course of oh, the Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. Just stay for a still shot. Oh. He's representing the... Pastor Mrs. Uh, Bright Obin, all the way from Lagos, for this very important occasion. This occasion is very important to me. I left Lagos yesterday just to be here, to honor this man. He deserves all the honor. He's a man of God and he's a good man. He's tested. He doesn't only preach, but he lived the life that he does preach. And I'm so happy to be in this occasion. It's a wonderful thing that is going on already. I can't wait to see what exactly is going to happen today. I knew, but I didn't know that it will go to this extent. But I can perceive right now that something super ordinary is happening here today. Because the man we are celebrating is a very honorable man and is a superman. He's my son in the ministry. I've pastored him before now. I'm still pastoring him today. And I'm here to celebrate with him on this 50th birthday. And also with the tremendous work that he has done by bringing up about 13 books. This is not a joke. For two months he has been away. He cannot even pick his phone call because of the work that he's doing to edify the body of Christ. And that is so wonderful so dynamic and we love him so much. All of us here love him, everybody love him and we thank God for his life. I'm happy to be here sir. So we are happy to see you here and it's obvious you're coming from a very far distance. Can you please tell us your name, where you're coming from and then what you feel about this program in just as brief as possible. My name is Paul Okebi Uzo. I'm coming from Lagos State and the program is unique. What I saw on ground, you know, beats my imagination. I really, I, I like the program and I'm happy to be a, a part of the program. Thank you very much. Uh, words cannot describe what's going on here today. And I know this is not the right time to talk to you now. But we just have to pinch two, three minutes to have a word from you. Yeah. You have just churned out 13 books. A feat yet to be recorded. You are a reverend gentleman. You are an honorable personality in politics. You are so many things put together in one. You are the birds at Tarabasa University. All this cannot just be digested in one minute. But give us just your feeling, the level of elation at this moment, in one minute. Let us know exactly how do you feel. Yeah, just like you uh, started saying, that this may not be the right time to talk to me because I am so, 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 so excited such that I wouldn't know where to start, but I need to start somewhere. 
Uh, today marks my 50th birthday. And this day is so special to me because this is the first birthday I am marking all my life. I have never had any birthday celebration. I have never marked any birthday all my life. But I decided to mark my birthday being my 50th birthday. One may ask, why haven't you celebrated any of your birthday all this while? For a lot of reasons. I have tried to locate myself. I have tried to find reason or reasons why I should celebrate my birthday. But today being the 13th of October 2019, I have a lot of reasons to celebrate. I have a lot of reasons to have all my people around celebrating with me. Uh, number one, I have reasons to celebrate because I have something to tell God. I have something to celebrate God with. I have a reason to celebrate today being my 50th birthday because I have discovered myself. I have discovered the purpose for living. I have discovered the reason why I am here on planet Earth. And because I have discovered that, just the way I always tell people that uh, bother to know, I say celebrating birthday is not about the number, it's not about how long you live, but it's about the impact that you live on planet Earth. And I think today mark one of the days that I have started marking my own impact on planet Earth. Today mark one of the days that even if I were not alive today, there is something that can always be remembered, that there was one Victor Falak. There was a young boy from Gembu in Taraba State, you know, that did a particular thing. And it will be reckoned with, you know, in time past, after now. And so that is why I said I have a lot of reasons, you know, to celebrate today. Number one, to thank God. Number two, I have discovered purpose. Number three, for the sake of legacy. And that is why I'm here today to celebrate. My wife is here to celebrate with me and all my people are all around to celebrate with me. So I am uh, dedicating 13 books today. Today is 13 October and I am celebrating 13 books. I am dedicating 13 books authored by me by the grace of God and being celebrated on the 13th of October. So 13 books on the 13th of October, I think it is something special that calls for attention. That why 13 on the 13th? And so that is why I say my 50th birthday. How will I mark my birthday? You know, in such a way that heaven will rejoice with me. My family will rejoice with me. People around me will have reasons to rejoice with me. It's not about the rice and the chicken and all that. I would have done that 49 years ago, every year going by. But I decided to hold on that I should have a reason why I should celebrate my birthday. And today being my 50th birthday by the grace of God, 13 books, you know, that will be touching lives the world over. You know, it's why it's being dedicated today. And I'm also here to thank God, bless God, that thank God I have found the purpose for living. Thank God I have found direction in life. Thank God I know where I'm going to. You talked about politics. I have participated in politics, but I was still looking for fulfillment. Thank God you talk about my career in office. You know, I have reached the peak of my career. I'm a financial consultant. I am currently serving as the boss of Taraba State University. But there's something still empty in me. And I've been looking for that thing. But today I have found that thing. And so I have a fulfillment. And so because of the fulfillment I have today, that is why I am here to celebrate with my wife, with my children, my family, my people, the Kaka people from Sardona local government, our Mambila brothers, the Kambu people, friends alike, you know. That is why we are here today to celebrate because somebody has discovered the purpose for living. Madam, we know you wouldn't want to talk here too, but just one word to add up to the loaded information we've received from your distinguished gentleman, the husband you have in the house. We call him an exceptional person, but to you, he is that husband that God gave to you. Yes. What word do you have for him? I, I, I just want to thank God. He's the reason why I'm living today too. He is my, I call him my blessing and my fulfillment in life. I am I'm blessed, I'm blessed because of him. And I don't know how he juggles them all, everything, the office, the work, the politics, and even everything, and even having time to even write books, and having time for us too in the family. It is something thanking God for. You know, some people, you, when you juggle all these things, you don't, you don't find time for your family, but he does. And I want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Because I, I have, I am, I'm learning a lot from him. 
and it's a blessing. I want to say, I want to say we, we love him. I love him and we love him all as a family. And we say that God will increase him and give him more years to continue to be there for us in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. As you grace the occasion. Well, let me start from the impact of the occasion. Uh, from the impact from that perspective, uh, it's really inspiring, it's really mind-boggling, it's really something that uh, one should be proud of. I am really impressed, highly uh, ex excited to have seen this day. What a great day, it's a great day of joy to see my friend, my boss of friend, Mark, his birthday, in a grand style, with a great gathering. People came from all over the country, from far and near just to celebrate with him and uh, it means he has affected the lives of so many people, people we cannot count, people we cannot number and I'm so happy that goes to show that uh, we should live a life that will impact positively on others so that we can be appreciated at the right time. It is not when you exit this life that we will start saying good about you. But we should appreciate you when you are even around. Victor deserves to be appreciated. He says a kind heart of person, loving, very nice. He's been a bosom friend. Uh, coincidentally, we have been professional mates. We were roommates. I was his chief best man at his wedding. He was my chief best man. We slept on the same bed throughout our university days. We read the same course. We had the same profession. He has been a boss of uh, Taraba State University. I've been a boss of our uh, Adamo State University in Ubi. And uh, you can see the coincidence, yes. as if we, are, we were born together and uh, we were groomed together, we grew up together and uh, so many things. But funny enough, he is from Taraba, Mambila, Sagawana local government, while well, I'm from Adama and Big local government. But we have so many things in common. And uh, I think uh, that is the much I can say for now. I think... Uh, Victor deserves more than this. He, I hope that uh, by the time we are celebrating the first uh, birthday, we will be doing it in another great grand style. So sir, a lot of people have heard you say all these lofty things about who Victor is. And so can we actually now know who you are really, your full names, how you are addressed, so that let's know this bosom friend who has also touched Victor's life spectacularly. Well, I am the chief Dr. Kunti Ezra. I am the Tafida Nunguda, Santra Kimbude, Maidal and Dubu. I have been the boss of Adama State University movie from uh, 1st March 2012. Completed my first tenure in my second tenure, almost completed the second tenure. He's an, I'm an accountant too, just as it is. And, uh, we have so many things in common, so many things in common. Uh, sir, we just observed that you came in with your beautiful wife, and we know you're coming from somewhere. Yeah, we'd like you to tell the audience where you're coming from, your expectations about this event, in just a word or two. Then later we can connect with you inside. You give us your names, how we can address you better. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh... I am Anthony Godlove with my wife from Abuja. I came purposely to celebrate our brother, Dr. Victor Falak. And uh, we thank God for his life and uh, his impact that he has made in our land and beyond. Uh, Victor is somebody that uh, has really inspired me and my family. And uh, his life has have touched us. And, uh, and, 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 and his impact in, in Kakaland and, and in Taraba and beyond is, 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 is uh, unquantifiable. So today we came purposely to celebrate him and our expectation is high. And also to, to grace the, 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 the dedication of 13 books. So thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. You tell us your names, where you're coming from. And in one minute, tell us how you feel about this occasion. My name is Comrade Andy SB. I'm the president, Student Union Government, Taraba State University. Uh, I think today is very unique because we are celebrating somebody who has a large heart. The person we are celebrating today 
is into humanitarian services in Tarawa State University. He paid school fees for students who couldn't pay school fees. In fact, he has to go into activities outside his official duty to be able to help the union. The student union government has him as an advocate to the management. I want to tell you that there are times that he has to take the cries of the students to the university management just to be able to help the students. So he's, he's commendable. He's quite an awesome man. You're privileged to pinch just one minute out of your tight schedule to quickly talk to you. So we'd like you to tell this audience your name, how you're properly addressed, and just one minute of your expectation of what's about to happen here. Reverend Andy Moses, the senior pastor of Higher Grade International Church, incorporated Jalingo. Uh, today is one of the most excited days in my life, seeing my brother and the pastor in my ministry coming out to celebrate his golden jubilee and then to be able to bring out 13 books. This is a great achievement at 50 years. And we are expecting that today mark another turn, not just in the life of Higher Grade International Church. Thank you very much. God bless you. We appreciate you for thank coming. You, thank, God you. God bless you. thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Hajia Fatima Hassan, the past special advisor to the SLS on Finance and Budget. This event is a landmark celebration in the life of Victor Falak, the Bosa, my junior brother. All I have to say is that it's a memorable day in his life, and we are here to celebrate with him on this special occasion. And this is wishing him long life, many happy returns, and wishing him all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Philip. Andrew Mullip, by the grace of God, I'm the Chief of Staff to the Right Honourable Speaker at Taraba State House of Assembly. I have been invited here uh, to witness one of the 50th birthday of a beloved brother, a friend, uh, Dr. Falak. And uh, of course, I wish him well, and I expect that. You know, God will bless this occasion. Well, my name is Dr. Jerome Nyame. I'm a lecturer with the Department of Business, Taraba State University, and the Director Center for Entrepreneurship Training and Consultancy Services for Taraba State University. Well, uh, this is one of the events that I have experienced with its own uniqueness. Simply because this is a person marking his 50th birthday and showcasing his contribution to the world. And today he's also dedicating 13 books. This is indeed a great achievement. The greatest wealth it's not the riches that are tangible, but the intangible. And knowledge is one of the tangible riches. He has written 13 books. They are not 13 pamphlets, which means he has worked over time to see that he contributed to humanity. This is a great thing. And I think he has left his name his name will be written in the plate of gold. This is a great achievement for a young man to have done in 50 years of his existence. I've seen people celebrating cars, celebrating mansions. This man is celebrating knowledge, which is the great thing. And I think he has contributed. And I think people should applaud him for what he has done. And the young ones should also copy from him. It's not about gathering riches, but about contributing possibly, positively to the society. Madam, you are gorgeously dressed with two majestic kids flanking you. We don't want to preempt who you are. 
but we want you to say it in your own words. It's sweeter and more respectful. Tell us exactly who you are and then just give us one or two statements about your expectation at this event. Thank you very much. I am Comrade Mrs. Glory Joseph Kachebri. I am elder sister to the celebrants. Yes, though he's contesting my position as his elder sister. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And um, I, think, I think my expectation has been met. I have seen people I didn't see in a long time. I have seen great men of God. I'm excited. I am blessed. It's a privilege to be alive and to witness this occasion. Now, given a chance, if you have to whisper something to him, just in one word, what will you tell him? He should keep doing what he has been doing. Thank you very much. Bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, this event started a couple of months back. You've been busy somersaulting Levant and Centre, doing what you know best to do. We know he's your brother, but this is you. You do this even if it's not your brother. But this time, the tides has changed, and you were making sure your brother's event went well. So, how would you rate this event? What is your expectation? Have your expectations been met? Well, um, I would say my expectation has been met and even met beyond um, my thoughts. We, as you can see the environment, people have come out to grace the occasion. From the um, look of things, you know it's already a sign of joy and happiness. We are really happy. We bless God's name for making this day a success. This is a day we have been planning, as I've said, we've been longing to see. It's not easy in this our time to clock 50. And clocking 50 and looking very young, I think we, we had to work towards it because it's something worth celebrating, it's something worth thanking God. That he didn't just clock 50. At 50, he's someone who has impacted on our life. He has gone beyond our bounds by touching lives. And uh, looking at it, he's, he's a person who is not only limited to his immediate environment. He's generous in, in, in his behaviors and nature. That is why we feel we need to stand with him. We need to celebrate this day. We need to thank God for what God has done in his life and our life as a family and as people, as, uh, people, people at large. Yes, sir. And with the expectation, I think um, if um, I will say something to him, my word to him, now that people have come out to grace his occasion, it is by implication, it is, it is already a message of, of burden upon him. We will expect him to do more of what we are celebrating today. That God helping, we know he will not fail us. Yeah. I would like to use nomenclatures that are not right at this moment. But you will do us one big favor. Tell us who you are specifically. And secondly, knowing that you're part of the family, we knew you'd been busy months without end doing what you know how to do best. Today, it's right on your table and you're doing stuff for your elder brother. Have your expectations been met in this entire process? Well, my name is Confident Samuel Mbakwe. I'm a legal practitioner. I am more like a son. I will always say I am his first son in his children. I, I, I couldn't have asked for a moment better than this. We've always thought of that opportunity where we want to tell him how, how grateful we are to him for being that father figure we've always desired of him. Waited until this time around that he's 50. We are so privileged to associate with him, to have him as one who has gone ahead of us. We've been privileged to see so much by virtue of just standing on his shoulder. We've been exposed to a lot of things that ordinarily on our own wouldn't have. When I heard part of the celebration was dedication of 13 books, I wasn't surprised. Probably to other people who kept asking, how could you be launching or dedicating 13 books? I said, well, to me, I grew up under him. I know what he's capable of doing. I know he could keep you seated for 48 hours just to ensure you're reading. He doesn't take no for an answer to anything that has a solution. 
So I knew that it's something he could attain. So launching this, I think my expectation is not, is not, I'm not surprised. That's just a summary of this. I'm not surprised by this. And I think I want to wish him many more years. He's been a mentor to us. He's been an example to us, an inspiration to us. So many of us couldn't have really gotten it right if not for him. I appreciate God for his life, particularly myself and my younger brother, the pharmacist. We've been like his children. He's guided us jealously, instilled great discipline in us so much that he wouldn't tolerate. You know, when he's correcting you, he doesn't try to polish up what is wrong. He tells you the way it is. That's one aspect I've seen with him. Like I've said earlier, he doesn't take excuse for a no. When you must achieve a thing, he gives you a time frame. You must achieve it without excuse. And that has helped me as a person. For where I am now, I give credit to God and I give credit to him as part of the human instrument God has used. Are you ready to roll? So you'll just tell us exactly who you are, who you are to the celebrant, and then how you feel about this event. I'm the immediate follower to the celebrant, and I'm the most happiest person today to see my immediate senior celebrating a golden jubilee of 50, which I believe someday I will be there. And my, our dad is alive, 100 plus, and he will celebrate above his father. So I'm the happiest. So what do you have to say for the teaming visitors that came? Um, I would say they are all welcome. I celebrate them for celebrating with us. And I will say as they go, wish them the best. And I will pray that those who have not celebrated their golden jubilee, the Lord will help them to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm Pharmacist Mbakwi Generation. The celebrant is actually a father figure to me. He's actually someone that uh, I grew up with and uh, he has taught me quite a lot in life. And some of the things that I've learned through his life is integrity and to, to stand true to what you believe in. I think basically these are two things I've learned from his life. Integrity and to stand firm in truth when you know that is the way forward. So, what do you say to these visitors, the TV people that came to celebrate with you? Uh, we actually appreciate everyone that came to celebrate him. As you can see, a lot of people came, actually tells you the kind of person he is. So, we actually appreciate each and every one of them for coming and we pray that God will take them back to their destination safely. Thank you. You're welcome. Sir. Thank you.